In November 2022, OpenAI released Chat GPT, and the potential of Gen AI was shared with billions of people around the planet. Now, when you log in to your OpenAI account, you'll now see an option of launching MATLAB GPT. The MathWorks collaborated with OpenAI in developing a dedicated GPT that specializes in MATLAB related queries. When you submit a query using MATLAB GPT, the MathWorks website is used to enhance the standard chat GPT response so that the, the latest features and functions are always cited in the final response. Let's take a, a look at a specific usage scenario of MATLAB GPT. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to show you just one more example, if I can, on how teaching academics can get productivity enhancements from Gen AI. We're going to use MATLAB GPT to help us develop a new testing capability that currently doesn't exist out of the box in MATLAB Grader. So let me give you a little bit of context. If you've never heard of MATLAB Grader, let me give you the two minute summary. Say you've already developed a problem in MATLAB Grader, specifically a problem that revolves around the analysis of this analog filter circuit. Students are asked to review their class notes on transfer functions and step responses. They're asked to define symbolically what these are for this particular circuit. And they're asked to implement the transfer function and the step response function as MATLAB code, and then plot each of, each of these outputs. Now in MATLAB Grader, it's your responsibility to also define the golden reference solution to the task. So here's the executable MATLAB code that completely answers this particular problem. And the beautiful thing about MATLAB Grader is that it just makes comparing two different matrices so easy. The screenshot on the right-hand side of the slide shows MATLAB Grader's built-in test that allows you to compare the student's version of the step response array against the golden reference version of the step response array. But one of the things that MATLAB Grader does not do easily is it doesn't have an out of the box capability for testing plots. So for example, checking that students have labeled their plots, they've given it a title, they've added a legend, that they've plotted the right data set. We don't have an out of the box MATLAB Grader test type for addressing that. So instead, you have to write your own MATLAB code to implement that type of plot, plot checking test. But this is where we can leverage Gen AI. So we'll use MATLAB GPT again, and we'll chat, and we'll review for a few cycles, and then we'll test the code that MATLAB GPT generates, and then finally we'll implement that code back into MATLAB Grader. So here's the request that we're going to present to MATLAB GPT. And note that we're supplying quite a few specifics into this, into this request. So let's have a look at the response that MATLAB GPT produces. So here we are in MATLAB GPT. Here's our query. And we're now going to submit this to the chatbot. What I really like about MATLAB GPT is how it usually summarizes the key tasks that it's about to generate MATLAB code for. And this all looks encouraging. But look, the proof of the pudding really is going to be on the automatically generated code, which is now being produced by MATLAB GPT. And off it goes. So once that's done, we really need to review and test this. So let's do that next. So here's the automatically generated code that MATLAB GPT produced. 
And as I'm reviewing it, I'm seeing some of the low level handle graphics querying functions being used. Things like find obj. And look, first impressions are it looks pretty good. On the right hand side of the slide, I've got a MATLAB script that invokes the GPT, GPT code. I wrote this MATLAB script and I'm simply using it to stress test the uh, automatically generated function that MATLAB GPT produced. And you can see by the error messages at the bottom of the screen that yes, if I forgot to add labels or titles or legend, the chat GPT code really flags that plot as being not up to requirements. And this is exactly what I want. So having tested the GPT code, we can now copy and paste it into MATLAB Grader. Next, let me show you what the final MATLAB Grader experience ultimately looks like. As the author of a MATLAB Grader problem, we can click this button to see what the user experience ultimately looks like for the student. And as the student scrolls through the problem description, they come across this button, open problem in MATLAB online. And when they do that, within their web browser, a brand new um, page is launched, which is MATLAB online, which is the browser-based version of the MATLAB desktop. So MATLAB Online launches, and we see the full MATLAB desktop. We see the Home tab sheet, the Live Editor tab sheet, the Workspace panel, and so forth. So imagine the student now working this problem and typing in their response. So there's the transfer function. There's the uh, symbolic uh, statement of the step response. And they can hit the Run button. And in MATLAB Online, they can run their code. And here's what the, the MATLAB workspace currently looks like. And if I put on my, my uh, Speedy Gonzales shoes very, very quickly typing this stuff in, here's the rest of the solution. And don't forget, we need to create some plots. So we click Run. And we confirm that the code runs and that we're able to produce plots. And now the student's feeling pretty good. They hit the submit button to, to have their uh, submission graded. And things are looking pretty good. But apparently, my plot doesn't have an x axis label. Oh, let me go away and sort of um, fix that up. And I'm going to run my MATLAB code just to make sure that everything's good. Yep, I see an x-axis label. Come on, man, that's all I've got to do. I hit the Submit button. And MATLAB Grader says, no, try harder. So I finally go back and I read the problem description. And I sort of wake up to myself. And I put Y labels on. I put a title, a legend. I run the MATLAB code to make sure it's all good. And now I hit the Submit button once again. So look, in the space of 45 minutes, we've now got a MATLAB grader problem that you can now roll out to the 400 students in your class.